What up, y'all? Welcome back to the Fence Project Pad. We are now finally at the end stage. We're about to get ready to install the gate. We'll actually build the gate and then install it. A few things we're going to need is two by fours. We got some exterior screws, a tape measure, a little pencil. And also, the gate might not turn out right if I don't got this shirt on. If you about your family and business, head over to artlife.com and copy one. So you can splash on that bit. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> so we're about to get into actually cutting our boards down to the right size we need. My opening right here is about 11 feet, but I did the math and it's like right in the middle is 65 inches. So I'm gonna actually cut my two by four 64 inches, have a little inch in the middle, and I can close that gap with the pickets after we throw them on. And if you're wondering what's going on here, that's your thinking antenna. Yeah, this one, I get to thinking of a master plan. So if it's out, that means he's thinking. And right now, I'm gonna need a whole lot of thinking going on with this gate right here. Not really, but really, but not really, because my first time doing it, but hey, let me put my thinking cap up. I don't want other people to be stealing my goddamn brain. <laughs> Hello there. Hello. So what I'm doing is cutting these two by fours to make the gate. I don't really trust like the factory cut, like the factory ends for the wood. So what I'm doing is I'm meeting up these and then kind of making an initial cut first, just so I know this is flat. And then I'm gonna flip it around and make it my measurement. So right here, I'm cutting these 72 and a half. That's gonna be like the height of the gate. It's about a motherfucking right? Yep. But who cares? This shit about to get down today. Fuck all the bush. <laughs> but we're gonna do 64 on the width because it's almost like 11 feet for the opening. So I'm about to cut this and then we can meet them up over there and start putting them together. Need some safety glasses and the man is gone. So factory cut. I know both of those is nice and straight. Over. This is gonna be 72 and a half. This is a perfect example why you can't trust that the wood is the perfect length, six feet, or that they like straight cuts. Because both of these are supposed to be six foot and just look at how much more longer this wood is compared to that one. 72 and a half, 71 and a half. Do you think Artie feels grown now? Because he just, just wrong me. yeah, he is used to this already. <laughs> <laughs> finally, look, that's the second time going over there. He's like, oh, snap, I got another little avenue. So the truck make sure all oh, this is nice and even, because I'm making two cuts at once, just so I know it's the same length by stacking them on here, because they both going to be on opposite sides of each other. So I don't want one a little bit shorter or taller. And with a 10-inch blade, is able to cut like four inches of wood like this. But instead of just doing like this, it'll actually be stronger if I do it like this here, but I'm gonna cut these like halfway. All right, so half of this gonna be shaved off and half of this gonna be shaved off and then they gonna kind of sit inside of each other like this. That's gonna be the strongest connection for this gate so it won't sag. And I'm gonna do that cut by putting on the table saw here. So this is, should be like three quarters, half of this. So I'm gonna put this height of this blade right here at three quarters and then i'm pretty much just gonna run this over this blade and then it's gonna cut it halfway and then i'll be able to overlap these two pieces sound like a bunch of drippers sit and watch okay, so i'm adjusting my blade so there's two by four it's like almost an inch and five eighths so we're gonna do three quarters so this here should be three and a half look at that bam that's when you want to set your bar at right here. And that's that three and a half. Lock that boy down. I need to get my damn mask. Yeah, you do. Glasses. Yeah, you do. Be safe. Glasses and a mask. Because you don't want to breathe in this pressure treated stuff. You don't want to breathe in these chemicals in this wood. Let's get it.
take a chisel and just chisel out these grooves right here. I uh, got my chisel and my hammer. Ready to get ready to knock all those little pieces out so we have a flat surface and then we'll be good to go. Just got done doing all like the shaving and stuff off of here, man. I used the chisel. That stuff actually took a little bit of time. It's better watching somebody else do it on time nuts because it seems way quicker. Chisel that down. It got it pretty much smooth, shaved, even, so that can overlap nice and we ain't got no, no bunch of grooves and stuff like that. So I did that on all four corners. As you can see, it's just going to lap over. We got them all overlapped, as you can see. I don't know if y'all want yours like this, but see, mine got a little lip on there. I didn't go all the way to make it halfway. I thought it was going to be like that, but I really didn't want to do like that because I thought it was going to be like a little weaker. But I like mine like this because it's a little thicker. And then I always think about these edges breaking off right here. Um, I don't know if everybody's anybody's ever broke off like that, but I just like it thicker right there. So I got these inch and five eight screws. I'm going to actually put some wood glue on here first. 15 minute hole, waterproof. Supposed to be used for exterior. So we're going to go ahead and go with this one. Some people use like that ultimate three. I want to get this a try and see how this works. We're going to take this glue pretty much, spread it on here, spread it on there, then flip them over, throw the screws in there, and then that'll give it a tight hold. I'm going to go ahead and glue this one up first. Glue going to go down both sides. I'm going to throw that on there. Use my exterior screws. Put four screws in here. One, two, three, four. Might throw one in the middle on the other side or something like that. And that'll be good there. And then I'm going to have to do my cross brace um when i'm done so i'm gonna go ahead and do this first and then we're gonna do the cross brace so the cross base actually uh prevent this from sagging also and let me see the hinge is gonna be on this side so i think i'm gonna have to take it from this corner to there but i'm gonna double check pretty much wherever the hinge is yeah so i'm gonna have to take it from here to here if it's standing up like this here so it can prevent it from sagging down. So definitely need that. That's one of the most important pieces there, but let's get it. So to make this cross brace right here, what I'm doing is laying it down. I've actually put the two by four underneath the frame. And what I'm gonna do now is come down here and then mark with my pencil, bang, bang. And then I'm gonna cut that off like that. And the same thing down here. So I'll go ahead and mark that. Actually, well, this kind of be more so in the middle of the two by four. So and I'm gonna go ahead and just take my hand saw and cut that for real. Circle saw. I wish I had a Craig jig, but I don't. So now I'm gonna angle these screws in. And what I'm gonna do is to prevent the wood from splitting, just put the screw in, reversing it, make a little pilot hole first, and then shoot it through. Now I'm gonna actually put some wood glue in between these grooves too. in from the frame part over and the reason I ain't making a pre-hole with my drill bits is because I sent my drill in for repair and I don't know where my attachment where I can actually put the switch this out for the chuck I'm using three inch should have got some four inch for real and it came through this way Well, we're done for building a gate frame. So what I'm gonna do now, go ahead and slap some pickets on. And then after that, I'm gonna throw on my hinges right here. The hinges I'm using. Um, I actually bought these hinges for my trailer doors, but I'm actually using them for this gate. The only thing I don't like is 
Um, I got six by six posts. That boy is gonna get screwed in pretty much on the edge of the post. I would like it if I had some hinges that go in the middle of this joint, but it is what it is. I ain't really tripping. I guess I could do it like this here, but the gator just start like over in this section. So we'll see. But let's throw on these figures. Yeah, yeah. In the basement with my daughter on my lap, writing raps, trying to figure how to come up with a stack. But I know I just need to strap these twos up on my back. That slow, though. I'm going to make a milli doing that. But I just got to stick to the flow and get my own. Every since a young and me and baby on our own. So, of course, the camera died as I was putting up these last planks, but I'm gonna show y'all the fence when I'm done. But right now we gotta put on these latches right here. At the top here, we're gonna go with like a slide latch, just a simple slide latch over so the top part can stay connected. For the bottom latch, we're gonna actually use a lockable cane bolt. So pretty much lock into the ground, but then we can put like a padlock or something like that on it. So we're putting a lockable cane bolt. Um, that's gonna drop into the ground here. I got a picture right here. And then for the top latch, we doing that there. But I own the mission, hustling, trying to get it. So I'm hustling for mine. Yeah. So watch me go and get it. My daughter needs to wish it for a new family business. So I'm hustling for mine. So we got the latches on there. Top latch. We got the cane bolt down there. I still got to go get a drill bit so I can drill down there in the concrete. We got over here. The net was good. Show y'all what it looked like on the other side. Last thing is actually filling in this space right here so the dog can't sneak out and nobody can walk in. I got these Tapcon screws, three inch Tapcon screws. Um, these is actually some scrap pieces of two by fours. Well, I don't even think they actually two by four. They're like two by two or something like that. But these actually came underneath the pallet when we got um, all these pickets and stuff. So went ahead and drilled these to the house itself, um, to the brick. Um, two strips on there and then on the other end I went ahead and drilled those on the fence and what I'm gonna do now is same thing how I put these up so cut the little pickets and cover up that whole little space and we'll be good to go so let me know what y'all think about it down below all these items are gonna be down in the description project finally complete long expensive project